All right, good morning, everyone. Sorry you had to wait so long. It's been a crazy morning. Um, we are really trying to get everyone connected and who's at home, as well as here who is live. So we appreciate your patience with us today. Um, we are trying this avenue so teachers can share their screens on Zoom, et cetera. So teachers, I have some information for you. And then students, we have some uh, just some welcoming information as you for well as well. So for the students that don't know me, my name is Mr. Cross. I'm the principal here, and I hope you have a great first day. Uh, your teachers have got a lot of great things planned for you over the course of the next few weeks. They put in a lot of time and effort to get ready for you, uh, and they are a great bunch of people. And so uh, hopefully over the next few days, you'll get to know them well and really begin to feel comfortable, whether you're in the mobile world or here at school. All of our students that are mobile right now, Welcome. We want you to feel just as comfortable and part of the group as anyone else. We will be doing these announcements every morning. Any assemblies that we have will be doing such as this will be virtual. So we really want to include you and hope your first few days of school are good as well. So I'd like to go through some information for the teachers first, but the kids need to hear it as well to uh, teachers. So that's why we're doing a combo and didn't send out an email this morning. Um, for those that came without supplies or maybe didn't have the opportunity to do the curbside pickup. Uh, Ms. Howard, Mr. Laka, and Mr. Hill are coming around to each classroom to see which students have not been assigned an iPad yet. They will get all of their um, supplies there. They'll hand them off. Um, Ms. Whoever comes into your room, which adult, will then write down the serial number, uh, record that serial number, and the student will take the contract home to sign and bring back. So the student can keep the iPad because we want to go ahead and get it going. So they'll keep the iPad, the, uh, whether it's Mr. Hill, Ms. Howard or Mr. Lacka will write down that contract number and then we will track it from there. So really teachers, all you have to do is be aware of which students don't have uh, their supply bag yet. If there is an instance where a student forgot their iPad, even though they came to the curbside, um, after we get the initial bags handed out, uh, we'll come back through and hand each classroom uh, a few extra iPads for situations like this. So uh, supply packs for those kids that didn't get anything at all. And then those that may have forgot, they may have to wait later as we come back around uh, with extras. So we started on the third floor and they'll be working their way down. So we have three people going, so it should be pretty quick. We just know that they are getting that serial number. Nothing really teachers for you to do on your end. After this is over, you need to start thinking about your warm body count posted outside your room for 930. If you have any questions about that, um, to be honest with you, a text is probably teachers, not students. A text is probably going to be quicker uh, simply because the phones are ringing off the hook right now in the front office um, with parents trying to get logins at home, which we're working through that. So if you're confused about the warm body count at all, let us know either via text or catch us as we're walking around the hallway. Teachers, there will be a link coming out for a Google Doc later on today, which has all the car tag information. Um, be sure that you're able to pull that up at some point. I'll actually come on the announcements and let you know it's there. As you know, we don't do a lot of announcements during the day. I um, believe in one and that's it. But for today's purposes, there's going to be several. So a Google Doc will be coming out. Um, so make sure you test it out and it can display on your screen before we get to that 2.30 dismissal. And then finally, teachers and students, be sure you already know how you're getting home today. There is no 21st century until after Labor Day. So be sure that you are working toward figuring out who's going home, who's going home how, and knowing that it'll make our dismissal a lot better. I do want to give you all a great compliment for a great arrival. It was smooth. Um, students, I know it's a strange time right now, but you handled it very well, and I appreciate you getting where you needed to go. Virtual kids, I appreciate you logging on and being on time and ready to go, as I know your teachers are excited. Our biggest goal is staying safe, guys, um, when you're walking around the building. And so your teachers will go over with you today things such as wearing your masks. Um, anywhere I have mine right here, as soon as I leave these announcements and I'm back out, I will be going over and be having a mask on as well. There's all kinds of options that you can get creative. I know you have simple ones. I've even got one with my favorite sports team, Louisville Cardinals. Um, and then Ms. Adams made me this one. So I've seen several like this where you can have your 
uh, school on there and put that on. So uh, masks, I know that's different for us, but you can certainly get creative, but you have to have a mask on and follow teacher direction, uh, especially in the hallways when you're transitioning, um, when you're headed to the cafeteria, when you're headed out for dismissal, those masks have to be on. A reminder about washing your hands. We have hand sanitizer machines that you can use in the hallways as well. Students, we ask that you don't share supplies with other students, um, that if you're having pens or pencils or markers, scissors, those are for you and for you only. Uh, we talked about the transitional things. We are going to eat in the cafeteria today. Um, and you can, of course, you've got to take your masks off to eat. You can keep those off. You should have been or will be provided a lanyard where you can hang that mask on if you choose. Um, but you have to stay social distance. There will be a tape down to where you can't cross on a table side. So be sure you're there. Be sure you're not getting up without permission. That's very important because we have to keep our cafeteria in a socially distanced manner. So uh, be prepared for that as you come through. But we will eat in the in the cafeteria today. Dismissal will start at 2.30 today, students. So again, be sure you know how you go home and your teachers will be putting, uh, except for kindergarten, well, kindergarten and first grade too, but you will have a board on the wall where it's showing your name and number popping up. You have to be paying attention to that and your teachers will go over with you at 2.30 what the expectations for a successful you know, dismissal is. So please pay attention to those so we can get you home quickly. Tomorrow is gonna be hopefully a lot normal for a lot of our folks. Uh, we'll start announcements pretty quick. We'll still give a little bit of a uh, flex time, but know that uh, tomorrow is going to look a lot more normal, students. So please, when you're coming through the loop, you understand you're getting your temperature check. Our mobile students, go ahead and be ready to roll when your teachers say uh, first thing in the morning, because we're going to try and get things going right away to try and make them tomorrow as normal as possible. For the remainder of the day, K-5 to has created a schedule for our mobile kids and live kids together. It's very important that everyone gets to know each other. We want the live kids to know the mobile and the mobile to know the live, vice versa, because you're all part of one family here. Um, middle school students, uh, you are on an A day. Um, if you're in your first, if you're in a block period right now, that's not going to end until 10 o'clock. So that's first and second period. Remember, we're in block one, but it's first and second period. So we only have four blocks in a day. So first block will end at 10 o'clock. However, anyone that's in a resource class for the first period in the first block will transition at the bell at 9.32. So I'll say that one more time as we get used to this A-B block schedule. There's block one, two, three, four. Within the block, there are two periods. The only kids that switch in the middle of the block are kids that are in a resource class. And so when you hear that 9.32 bell, that is just for kids that are in a resource in middle school. And you'll switch to your second period in that first block. First block will end at approximately 10 o'clock for all middle school students, and we will make an announcement for a transition. Please make sure you're transitioning in one direction uh, and you have your masks on for that. I'm really looking forward to this school year. I uh, appreciate each of you. I'm glad you're here. We want to make your first day as memorable as possible. Your teachers care about you a lot. And we want to make sure that you are taken care of in every, every way. All we ask is that everyone be patient as we get everyone what they need. And I hope everyone has a great day. I look forward to seeing everyone in the hallways at lunch and dismissal. Have a great first day, our mobile kids and our live kids.